It's been a while since we've done one of these, so let's have a look at a really old and really dumb bug report. But this time, it's a little bit different. Usually, it's a really old report that never got dealt with. Or, it's a really old report that got dealt with after way too much discussion. This time though, the application in question never had a bug and has always been working as intended. The bug is with the distros packaging it wrong. Now the first report I'm going to show you is from Debian. X screensaver, please disable this version of X screensaver is very old, please upgrade message. This is from April 1st. 2016. This is not a joke bug report, it's just from a very inconvenient time. So let's get started then. Dear maintainer, in the lock screen, X screensaver displays the following message in bold font. This version of X screensaver is very old, please upgrade. There's also a similar warning opening up the screensaver command from the XSC applications menu, along with this part as well. If this is the latest version your distro ships, then your distro is doing you a disservice. Build from source. Please disable these warnings. A proposed untest patch attached. I know the author has placed a big fat warning in Senescent P asking distro maintainers not to remove these warnings. However, as a user, I find these warnings rude and obnoxious, and I wish my computer not to be obnoxious to me. Therefore, I ask you to disable the recency check, notwithstanding the author's request. The author's wishes that users not bother him with bugs about old versions of the software can surely be addressed with our unavoidable dialogue in bold or all caps presented every time a user unlocks her screensaver, as well as every time a user tries to configure her screensaver. I can think of at least two off the top of my head that don't involve discrediting X screensavers downstreams or shouting at users. Thank you. Daniel. This whole situation kind of reminds me a lot of the bottles packaging where upstream bottles were saying to distros like Fedora, hey, stop shipping bottles. The version you're shipping is really out of date, it's really buggy, and we're constantly dealing with bug reports from users who have no idea that their distro is shipping garbage. So stop shipping garbage and get the users to use the upstream package that is actually up to date so we know what they are running and know how to deal with their problems. Most developers basically just suck it up. This is the way the packaging is done on Linux. Most don't go to the Fedora project and then request a package takedown. Most aren't like X screensaver, including a warning saying that your distro sucks because it ships a super out of date version. But I would be very surprised if developers on big projects didn't really dislike the fact that there are distros out there shipping super old versions, leading to bug reports being made on unsupported versions for problems that were fixed in some cases, especially in a Debian case, fixed years ago. Now, this is not the only bug report about this issue, but the reason why we're starting with this one is because of who replied. Jamie Zawinski, JWZ, who you may know as the developer of X Screensaver. In the time it took me to read your wine, you could have upgraded your incredibly out of date computer and saved us all the grief. Then includes this part here. I find your request to be obnoxious and I wish to not have read it, but sadly, we don't always get what we want. Honestly, can I just say, I enjoy these developers who just know they make something good and know they can just be an absolute ass about it and you're going to keep running it. Because what else are you going to use instead of X screensaver? Are you going to use GNOME screensaver? Probably not. No, you can use X screensaver because that is the best tool for the job. It doesn't matter what the dev says, you're going to keep using it. It's one thing to be a nice person, but there are so many people in the FOSS space that pretend to be a nice person and pretend to be nice to other people. So it is really refreshing to see someone who's just not, not at all. Now, one person had the correct response. Dear maintainer, please update the X screensaver package in both Jesse and Wheezy. Thank you. That is the actual thing that should have been done not remove the warning, stop Debian running a really out of date version. But that's not what happened. Instead, as is a common thread, this reply from the developer 
didn't go over super well. Indeed, very annoying. Upstream obviously hasn't understood how distributions work and what stable releases are. Hello. Is it a joke? <laughs> they noticed it was posted on April Fool's Day, so they thought none of this was real. <laughs> it is not a joke. I've also noticed the message today. I was writing a bug report when I noticed it was already reported. Since today, X Screensaver tells Debian users that your distro is doing you a disservice, build from source. That's because that's exactly what it's doing application is working as intended. I have a better solution. Dispense with the horse shit. Either provide a upstream version to be packaged and backported or permanently remove the offending code and warnings. Or we have my personal favorite which explains just how out of date the package is. Incredibly out of date, I've hit the same exact bug this morning while installing Debian Jesse, which is the latest Debian stable release. It comes with version 5.30 of X Screensaver, which was released in September 2014. This is a post from 2016, not even two years ago. If you consider two years incredibly out of date, then do not follow Debian bugs since Debian is released every two years. Yes, Debian towards the end of its life is incredibly out of date. Yes. That's not, there's no argument that that's just what it is. That is literally the selling point of Debian. Debian is a stable, unmoving base. That also means it's an incredibly out of date, stable and moving base, but that's what you get with Debian. The current check in the source code is 18 months. Perhaps Debian could raise it to 30 months to cover stable freeze plus release period. If your application is 30 months out of date, like that's, that's really, really bad. There is only two situations where 30 months out of date doesn't matter. One, the application has been abandoned. Two, the application has effectively been abandoned and is in maintenance mode. X Screensaver is neither of those things. It is very frequently being updated, and even now, the current version of Debian is a couple of versions out of date. Now, a lot of people in here are suggesting deleting the warning, or if not deleting the warning, then removing the package entirely. And honestly, to JWZ, that would be the preferable option. Eventually, he had to come back and give a second reply. This time, just posting the comment from the code that explains why this is even happening. For those of you who can't be bothered to read the code, here's what the comment says. I stand by my words here. If you consider removing this warning, then I'll ask that instead you remove the X Screensaver software from Debian entirely. I believe GNOME Screensaver will be more to your liking. I am constantly getting emails from users reporting bugs that have been fixed for literally years who have no idea that the software they are running is years out of date. Yes, it would be great if we lived in the ideal world where people checked that they were running the latest release before they report a bug. But we don't. To most people, running the latest release is synonymous with running the latest release that my distro packages for me. And in the case of Debian, that version might be two years out of date. Why even bother to tell me what version they're running? I say, that version is three years old. And they say, but this is the latest version of my distro ships. Then I say, your distro sucks. And they say, but I don't even know how to compile from source. Herp derp, I eat paste, and everybody goes away unhappy. Remember what I said about him just being an ass and it being, like, you know, kind of refreshing? <laughs> this is what I mean. <laughs> it wastes an enormous amount of my time and kind of makes me regret ever having released this software in the first place. So seriously, I ask that if you're planning on disabling this obsolescence warning, that you instead just remove X Screensaver from your distro entirely. Everybody will be happier that way. Check out GNOME Screensaver instead. I understand it's really nice. Now, X Screensaver is licensed under the MIT license. And of course, my license allows you to ignore me and do whatever the F you want. But as the author, I hope you have the common courtesy of complying with my request. Thank you.
that should have been enough, right? That should be enough to say, okay, we know that you don't want us to do this. Let's not do this. Let's not keep fighting here. That would be the, you know, courteous thing to do. If you remember from my Bottles and Fedora video, that's not usually how it goes. So this user by the name of Peter Noe replied, I do not agree with the removal of the X screensaver package. Thankfully, when writing down his wish regarding this particular piece of code, the author made sure to write that he did not mean to derogate the user freedom provided by the license he chose. That part right at the bottom. He just confirmed to us that he still stands by those words as well. So in the end, he values user freedom above his wish that we either keep the warning or remove the software from our distribution. This deserves our respect and gratitude. To which Jamie simply replied, Please remove X screensaver from Debian. Peter Noe, take your sanctimony and go F yourself with it. This was the exact nonsense being said during the bottle situation. Was I wrong when I said you value user freedom above your wish that we either keep the warning or remove your software from Debian? I mean, you're the one giving mixed signals here, first telling us we can use, modify, and distribute your work, then asking us please not to do this, and please not to distribute that. Just change your license if this is really as important as your cursing suggests. Prompting this final reply from Jamie. Awesome, you seem to be one of those people who think if it's legal, it must be right. That's a common toxin in the software industry these days. Absolutely nothing has changed from 2016. Literally nothing. People are still saying exactly the same stuff. People are still acting the exact same way. I guess you want Debian to be the kind of operation that uses the work of others while blatantly and explicitly ignoring the wishes of the person who did the actual creative work. Nice. You know all those cases where there's some random, incredibly popular web library, and it's made by, like, one dude, and it's used by Facebook, Netflix, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and a bunch of other platforms, but not a single one of them pays for it. Because of the license, they can do that, but that doesn't mean they probably should do it like that, and just like in this case, you can package the application in a way that goes against the developer's wishes, but... You probably shouldn't do that. You probably should, you know, actually respect what the developer is trying to do here. Now, this was the final reply from Jamie Zawinski. And after this, eventually they did actually just update the warning out. And nowadays, the warning is no longer there. To this day, they still ship X screensaver, and I'm almost certain he still gets emails and still gets bug reports from old versions of Debian. I can say that because of this note on his website. Note, some distros, notably Debian, distribute a version of X screensaver that is years out of date. This is bad, and they should feel bad. You should use distros that give the option of keeping your software up to date, and that understand that stable and ancient are not the same thing. Now, I alluded to earlier, Debian is not the only time this has been reported. This is from this year, Ubuntu X Screensaver warning message. This version of X Screensaver is very old. Please upgrade on waking my Luna box this morning. <laughs> this is a really, really new one. And do you know what they did? They didn't update the package. Instead, they removed the warning. Here's another one on Salix OS. This is a forum post, not a bug report. And they did the right thing. Upgraded the package. Here is CubeSOS, who by the looks of it, did the Debian thing and removed the message. Here's not a distro. This is over on Linux questions. Solved. X screensaver patch to turn off update nag screen. So... They were looking to go and patch it themselves to not have the nag there. Or you could use a better distro or update the package or do something else that is not get rid of the warning telling you you're running at least an 18 month old version of X Screensaver. And then we have FreeBSD. FreeBSD did the right thing. They were like, okay. Package out of date, what do we do here? 
update the package. Honestly, I get the users who are annoyed. They don't want an application telling them that the application is out of date when really they can't do anything about it besides compiling it. But from the dev's perspective, I totally understand not wanting to deal with distros that insist on shipping out-of-date software, not stable software where they are backporting patches to, but just out-of-date software because that's what they've always done. And no matter how many times you say to your users, don't report bugs upstream, report bugs to our bug tracker, there's going to be people that don't do that. And they'll go straight to the upstream project and the dev then has to deal with just absolute nonsense that doesn't exist in the project anymore. If it was just one or two bug reports over the years, that would be nothing. But it's not, and that's why the warning is there, and as distros remove it, well, I guess Upstream just has to deal with the problem then. But let me know your thoughts down below. If you have a bug, do you go first to your distros bug tracker or the Upstream? Does it depend on what distro you're using? If you're on Arch, for example, do you go directly Upstream or on Debian, do you go to your distro bug tracker? I would love to know. Let me know your thoughts down below. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, and Libero Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and bye bye.